Hello everyone, we are back again to read one story from the Aesop's Funky Fables and the next story after the hare and tortoise that we read yesterday is called The Jackdaw and the Pigeons and it's one I've not heard of so I'm looking forward to reading this to you. A jackdaw is a type of bird, okay, it is a black bird and quite a large bird and these are pigeons that we know, the Buddha, all right, and they like to be in big groups, be quite noisy as well. So let's find out what happens. Cool, 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 sang the pigeons in the yard. Cool, 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 we are fat, we are fed, we are full, we are happy. Oh, happy, how happy we are. Jackdaw was sitting on the fence and watching. He saw the pale grey pigeons flutter and fluff and preen as they waddled and paddled to and fro. He saw their dish of water sparkling in the sunshine. He saw the farmer's wife come out and toss a handful of gleaming yellow corn to the ground. So they've got what they need, corn, water, they're full all of the time. I wonder what the jackdaw's thinking. Cool, said Jackdaw to himself. Fancy that, what a life. Why, they don't even hurry to peck up their corn. Cool, cool. And he hopped down to share the pigeons' breakfast. Flap and flutter, squawk and screech. The pigeons fell over each other in their hurry to scuttle and scurry away. The farmer's wife came out of the kitchen door, waving a wooden spoon and shouting, Shoo, shoo, get away, horrid bird, get away. Oh dear. Jackdaw went back to his fence to think. Such an easy life being a pigeon, such a cold, hard life being a jackdaw. Pigeons were such foolish, fluttery, waddling birds. Jackdaw was sharp and bright and clever. Jackdaw winked and, in his, sorry, he winked his shiny black eye. Jackdaw lifted the wings and flew. Jackdaw flew with long, strong beaks and his shimmering black feathers all the way to the clay pit. He rolled and he ducked and he dived in the soft clay and when he came out he was as pearly grey as any pigeon. So he's gone into the clay, covered himself in it to disguise himself. So no one knows who he really is. He's trying to look like a pigeon. I wonder if his plan's going to work. Cool, said Jackdaw. Cool, how clever I am. And now for breakfast and dinner and tea. The farmer's wife never noticed the extra bird fluttering and preening among the pigeons in the yard. The pigeons cooed and waddled and paddled to and fro, Jackdaw among them. Here you are, my pretties, called the farmer's wife, as the sun began to sink. Here you are, my loves, my doves, my pretty ones. And she tossed handfuls of corn from the kitchen door. Look at that picture closely. See some of the pigeons looking at the jackdaw thinking, who are you? They don't recognise you. The wife at the moment, the farmer's wife, has no idea. Coo, 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 sang the pigeons. Caw, 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 squawked jackdaw. Ah, screeched the farmer's wife. She rushed out, waving her wooden spoon. Shoo, shoo, shoo. She recognised that it wasn't a pigeon sound. There was nothing jackdaw could do except flap and stagger away. His wings clogged with clay. He half flew, half scrambled over the fence and dragged himself along until he found a flock of jackdaws scratching on the grit and gravel at the side of the path. Caw, said jackdaw. What silly birds pigeons are. The jackdaws turned on him. And what are you? asked the oldest jackdaw. You're not one of us. Shoo, shoo. And all the other jackdaws joined in. Nasty, dirty, grey bird. Shoo, shoo, get away, get away. Jackdaw waddled slowly away to have a bath. But they don't recognise him. That was not the kindest thing they could have said. And that's the end of that story. That ended quite suddenly. So he thought he was being clever because he wanted some corn. Um, he tried to disguise himself and really trick um, the pigeons and the wife, the farmer's wife, it didn't end, well, it didn't. And uh, 
he ended up not being welcomed back by his jackdaw friends either. So, excuse me, we'll stop there for today. Tomorrow's story is the dog and the bone. So I'll read that one for you, which sounds like an interesting story. Good night. Be ready for your learning tomorrow. And I will see you soon.